guys welcome back to mummy cooks homemade and this is a day in the life of my kitchen there's also a little bit added from when the kids went out with the dad this is the kids helping steve make omelette it turned out all right in the end guys <laughs> i think it was a ham and cheese omelette not sure Amy's got a habit of cracking them where her hands are, not over like a little bowl or something. And there she is, she's going to put. Very proud of herself as well, guys. She painted her own nails. This is my eight year old. So, yep. Yeah. I make cheese. It's stuck because it won't appropriately heated up evenly. But whatever, like I said, it turned out nice in the end. And that's all that matters. And Amy was pleased with it. <laughs> so this omelette did both of them for lunch. <laughs> I could hear Steve in the kitchen. Oh, blooming heck. Oh, who cares? It's going down the arch. It's not being served up to anyone that's not us so yeah it's not running because it's undercooked guys it's um got cheese in <laughs> kids enjoyed it it turned out all right in the end so steve took the kids out running want to know what's the weather like where you are we're lincolnshire and this is our weather at the minute i love it because i can't stand heat in summer it's still warm here but it's not like last year's heat wave it's very overcast this is what it is like where we are right guys i just thought i'd pop in with this this is where what we get <laughs> hang on let me pour my washer that is my washer it's nothing to do with us <laughs> so um yeah when you don't see a whole like extra vegetables stuff like that we get them from the local market in town it is more expensive this in total costs 12 pounds and this is what steve's just picked up so he's got Three nice sized organic, all organic parsnips. I'm double tapping again. You've all made me paranoid now. So he's got a bunch of carrots, and you can use wash the tops and use the tops. Pick out any that are not any good, obviously. Chuck them in your salad or whatever. Got a bunch. Of bananas so there's what seven there bit big ones make some banana bread i could but i'm not going to steve giant cabbage I mean, the size of that that's the difference between the farmer's market and the shop i guess this was two pound for this large punnet of strawberries then you got five of these what are these called satsuma satsuma what are they yeah, five for five for two pound five for two pound the size of my palm extra large and he got what were these steve apples i know they're apples brayburn i think brayburn I meant the price. Two pound for five. Two pound again for five of these. And these again are a good old size. So that's what we picked up from the farmers market in town. Um it's quality, isn't it? That's why you pay the extra and it's organic. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Get back to the video. Kids wanted some um flapjacks. And I got some more of these Oti Bix that Amy likes. 
So I did a double batch. So I did the full bag of 500 grams. Anyone's interested in the recipe, then just let me know and I'll send them it. That was a bit of an accident. <laughs> so, broken Smarties. This is why I buy them bags from Discount Dragon. Just stuff like this. So I've melted down the butter with the sugar and now I'm putting some golden syrup in. This is such an easy basic recipe, guys. Make sure as much of that sugar as you can is dissolved in that hot butter. Mix it in, make sure it's really well combined. Get it in a baking tray, I cooked it on gas mark four. 40 minutes because it was a double batch if you half this it's 25 minutes and you can put in there what you want raisins dates cranberries whatever whatever suits your family we just happen to be chocoholics what can i say it'll also be topped with um chocolate and smile <laughs> So yeah, you really want to make sure that you get this in and you pack it in and push it down tightly so that when it's cooled down after it's been cooked then um, it's not going to fall apart. So make sure you get that in all the corners, even layer. Press it down. Happy days. 40 minutes in the oven, like I say. Guess mark four. So Steve took the kids out to the garden centre. This is one part of the garden centre. I only wanted to show you it. So some of these move. They've got a dinosaur section and some of these move. Apparently he said he was looking at me, so that's not nice, is it? <laughs> but I think it's really good for the kids. It used to scare Caitlin. Ah, oh, yeah, there's one of the ones that moves. Look, thought would include a little bit of the home life there for you. So this is a turkey drumstick. Not the entire leg, just the drumstick. And I'm going to make a turkey stew. A simple, very simple, basic turkey stew. So I'm going to cook this drumstick for about an hour and a half until the meat comes off the bone and it's fully cooked. Chuck in some bay leaves. Celery and carrot. And half an onion. And that, with the juices from the cooked meat, will be the stock that I use. And I will keep adding water to that during the cooking process. So you can see there, look, the colour of it. So I'm going to top that up. I want lots and lots of gravy. So I've removed all the impurities, put the stock back. Now I'm just adding vegetables. Add what vegetables you've got in the house, what you like to have in yours. It does not have to be the same as mine. These are baby new potatoes. Couldn't be bothered to peel any, so I took a bag of them out of the fridge. 
and it was perfect absolutely perfect and I don't believe with the stew that you should be chopping everything up finely either like the mushrooms that all I did was cut them in half chunks of carrot the stew is meant to be comforting it's meant to be rustic I think personally I don't want a chef style stew in my kitchen I want homemade like your mum's used to make so I've still got all the flavour from when I cooked it cooked that turkey so here comes some garlic and some whole green beans found another bay leaf <laughs> I always end up finding them I'm terrible <laughs> so that's all the meat that I pu pulled off that um, chicken drumstick there's a lot of meat there for a little drumstick well not a little drumstick but you know what I mean plenty for a family stew and the dog absolutely loved the skin and all the bits that I wouldn't put in the stew so yeah, even the dog, dog gets fed as well. Steve and Amy, Caitlin doesn't eat this. Granddad's got a part of this in the freezer. <laughs> Steve and Amy both went back for seconds. So Granddad's lucky he got anything. And I just simmered that away until, because the meat's cooked, until the vegetables were cooked. And I added a couple of tablespoons of chicken gravy granules because I like to add those. You don't have to, but I like to. I like this thick. Oh, I like this thick gravy that you get. And we add buttered crusty bread with this. And some dumplings, of course. In this pot, they took 10 minutes. Like I say, Caitlin's not eating this, so it was two each for me and Steve and a, a dumpling for little Amy. Amy loves food like this. Most definitely not like a sister. So this is little Amy's plate. There's no leaving anything out with Amy. She loves this stuff. And she ate it all and went back for a bit more. Bless her. <laughs> so yeah, that was the turkey stew. So back to the garden center. There is also an aquatic centre as well to buy fish and that, that I, I buy. So these are um, sturgeon, they're massive. You can buy little bags for like 50p and the kids can feed them. But they come right up to them for the food because they've been in there that long. They, knew, they know that people leaning over there are going to be giving them food. <laughs> they are massive. Look at that one, look. Ooh. Sturgeon, absolutely huge. Kids love love visiting in the garden centre because they've got a play area as well. Then they've got that dinosaur area, and then they've got this. Not shy, definitely. I have no idea if they can jump, you know. <laughs> I 
just thought you might appreciate a little glimpse at where the kids went on this day rather than just my kitchen So thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share like you have been doing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.